We explain the science behind urban heat islands. That's when a cities, uh, they are able to retain their heat in their concrete and asphalt surfaces and have trouble cooling down. But there are groups who are working hard to find ways to reduce the urban heat island effect. Right now, we're actually joined by Ben Mandel and Dr. George Bon Weiss from the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Thanks so much for joining us, gentlemen. Tell us a little bit about the work that your group is doing with cool pavement. Sure. Hi, Todd. Um, well, our group is doing a bunch of things for cool pavement uh, here at Berkeley Lab. We've got a demonstration project um, that demonstrates a bunch of cool pavement options that are available on the market today in a range of colors and uh, different types of materials as well. There are some acrylics and asphalt emulsions, and um, we've seen some pretty drastic results early on in terms of the actual surface temperature reduction that just going to a lighter color material as opposed to dark black asphalt uh, can produce. And now you're making me think sci-fi, uh, all cities completely painted white, but uh, at least from your research, what color surface or type of surface reflected heat the best? Well, we don't typically uh, promote the use of white surfaces on the ground because that'd be very bright and produce a lot of glare and actually pose a bit of a safety hazard. So um, we like to think of something of a compromise We've seen good results with um, fairly, fairly light colored materials like a, a pale tan or something of this sort that would reflect close to maybe half of the sun's light as opposed to the closer to 90 to 100 percent of white. I'd also add that they can, the, the surfaces can actually look very nice. You know, we've seen products that are kind of a pastel green. And if you use a material like that on a parking lot, it gives the appearance of a, of a park almost. We have some photos from a, a 20th story of a hotel room, and you can see the parking lot. It looks like a large astroturf, actually. So it looks actually quite appealing and uh, can reduce the temperatures of, of the area. Well, that's fascinating. And, uh, really quick, we only have about 15 seconds, but how will reducing urban heat island effects uh, improve, let's say, local air quality? Well, ozone production, ozone is the primary component of smog. Uh, the production rate of ozone is very temperature dependent. So if you lower temperatures, you actually lower the rate of ozone production, which is, which is a great thing.